Hello and welcome to Top 10 Features of ADS 2023. In this video series, we are talking about all the latest enhancements in ADS. This video is focusing on Memory Designer Enhancements. Memory Designer in ADS reduces hours of setup time to few minutes and you only have one schematic to deal with whether you are performing transient based analysis or DDR bus simulation to look at various kind of measurements you may want to perform. Also, with Memory Designer, you can apply IBIS models as well as measurements to a group of signal instead of dealing with one signal at a time. With one-click connections, you can automatically match the signal ID and connect components, resulting in a very fast response time no matter how many connections you need to make. The flow supports both pre-layout as well as post-layout analysis. That means whether your channel data is coming from a pre-layout components or you are using an S-parameter file which you have extracted using any post-layout EM tool can be directly used in Memory Designer, so pretty seamless. Also, if you need to perform post-layout analysis for your DDR nets, ADS contains a SIPRO DDR wizard which allows you to do a very easy EM setup of many nets in once. And once you extract this data, it can be directly used inside Memory Designer. So pretty cool value propositions for anybody working in memory analysis. In the older way of doing things, the thing used to be quite complex with hundreds of wires which have to be connected, hundreds of wire labels which had to be provided. And it was a very error prone way because a designer can make a very small mistake at any point or any step, resulting in a pretty poor response or even simulation error. Starting with memory designer, as you can see, your schematic is very readable and is very clear. So hardly any chance to make mistake and also tool and the components used in this design are smart type. That means they can auto configure a lot of this information on itself based on some of the rules which you have inside these components. Using a smart bus wires, it's very easy to make connections no matter how many parallel nets which you are trying to simulate. All of them can be done in a very neat and clean manner, reducing the scope of any error which designer can make. We now also support IBIS EMD model and that can be used directly inside Memory Designer. As you might understand, EMD is the next generation from EBD with enhanced connectivity information included and this file now is supported in Memory Designer for your analysis. Also with design exploration uh, capability inside Memory Pro, we can generate HTML report containing the table of pass or fail or containing the plot, um, you know, uh, graph windows for eye diagram waveform data or part of, you know, kind of calculations. It simply requires a data link to be installed along with ADS and data link is available at the same location where you download the ADS installer from. So once you configure it, you are having this capability along with memory designer. We also support increased DRAM coverage and now GDDR6, 7, HBM2 and 3 are supported and appropriate signal types can be identified and configured in memory designer. So with this addition, ADS has multiple standards and the widest coverage for any kind of memory interface which you might be interested in simulating. You can do it all at a single tool which is ADS. Now with Pathway ADS Memory Designer, as you can see, you get a pretty predictive response. Your productivity goes up and you get a very insightful result because we also give you a pre-sign of compliance capability whereby you can leverage our oscilloscope software, which are typically used by hardware designers to perform memory compliance. The same utility is also available along with memory designer at no extra cost, as long as you have installed this software on your machine. All right, with this introduction, let me quickly go and show you how easy it is to use memory designer to set up analysis like what I'm showing you on the screen and then plot all the different kind of measurements which you may want to do for your own memory design. So here in this particular case, instead of going through the existing schematic, let me go ahead and delete some of these options. So the first thing I'm going to do is declare a memory designer setup 
And here you can see I have configured to DDR5, but you have wide range of memory interface, which you can pick from. And I'm also configuring 4800 Mbps data rate and a write mode. And you can do various other configuration here. In terms of simulation, I'm performing a DDR bus simulation. But here in terms of capability, you also have transient in case you want to perform a regular time domain measurements on your DDR channels. So once these two basic things are placed, the first thing I'm to do is place the channel. Now your channel could be a PCB channel where you have extracted that using SI Pro or any third party tool and you have a data file available. So in this case, I will use this channel. But here I'm going to simply use a pre-layout channel which I have constructed in ADS. So we will place that block and in this channel I can use an existing ADS cell or I can import HSPICE that list. So in my case, I'm simply going to use an ADS design, which is available in my workspace. And here you can see all the lanes which are available along with their reference designator. And also, if this is a parametric schematic, you will see those parameters here as well. So now once my channel is in place, I simply need to place a controller and a memory instance on either side. And here in controller, I'm going to use all the information contained in this pre-layout channel. And if you had post layout, you will you can select post layout as well. I'm going to use an IBIS setup method. And here I'm going to simply browse to the IBIS file which I have available. It's an IBIS AMI file for a DDR5 interface. So once you have that file, simply enable the file. Enable the signal which you may want to you know, simulate. So I'm going to use DQ0 to DQ7. Right click and enable it for simulation. Similarly, I'm also going to use a DQS pair. So I'm going to activate both of them and enable them for simulation. Now at this point, my job is done. I simply come to next. I can apply all the properties of these individual lanes on an individual basis or on a group basis. Right now, I'm going to simply accept whatever is the default configuration. Similarly, for DRAM, I'm going to go ahead and use an IBIS model uh, or IBIS AMI model which I have for my DRAM. So here I do have memory uh, AMI model and I'm going to activate U60, which is my memory. And again, like earlier, I'm going to select one byte lane, DQ0 to DQ7, and then an strobes you know, pair to enable it for my simulation. So this way, I do have my IBIS AMI model configured. Now, how do I connect to it? You know, connect these components, simply click on one side and another edge. And now you can see all the nets have been read. And by one click, I can configure the entire byte lane connectivity. Even if I had four byte lane, the same method will help me to do four byte lane connectivity in one shot. Pretty easy and a great time saver. And now you can see all the connectivity is done. Now to perform measurements, I simply need to place a memory probe and now I can declare the kind of measurements I would like to perform, set up some reference signals if I want, select the entire measurement as a group. For example, I can select all U60 as a group and DQS channel at U60. Now remember U60 is my DRAM, so I'm going to plot at the input. And again here as a group, I can select what measurements I would like to perform. I can select now I measurement and I height and width will be available at in the entire byte lane. Similarly, I can go ahead and plot uh, the measurements on the DQS channel as required. There are a few other options which I am not covering in this video, but you can go ahead and explore on your own, which is doing design exploration by which you can sweep parameters and you know you can read the parameter and create a csv file based on the measurements you are doing you can also set up compliance and perform the compliance related measurement using the infinium oscilloscope software i just talked about so once this is done we go ahead and run this analysis and now we just need to wait for a few seconds for this analysis to be completed and once that analysis is completed you will have all the measurements to be plotted in the list and again you either use the expression manager to plot that information or simply insert a graph and then you can make your own selection of the measurement which you would like to perform as you can see i have a eye diagram plotted on my graph 
So that's all for this video. This is what I wanted to cover and showing you how easy and seamless it is. No matter how complex is your memory interface, you can leverage all the great capabilities of memory designer in ADS to be successful. If you need more information on memory designer, or if you need an example workspace containing various kind of templates for your own reference and use, please contact your local key site sales resource and he would be able to help you with all the information as needed. So here within few seconds my analysis is done and now you can see the right results reflecting on the DDS page. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and wish you all the best in your design work.